Back at it again with another custom. Today we're working on the Vans Vault Takahayashi Do It Yourself Skate High Half Cab. This sneaker was made uh, so that you could actually customize it and make it one of a kind. Um, these panels are actually Velcroed on. Uh, the entire upper is made out of Velcro. And um, inside the box it actually comes with multiple Velcro panels that you, so that you can uh, switch out with different colors and materials. This sneaker could be made into a skate high or a half cab. I'll be creating my own panels and creating a full on denim patchwork skate high, also known as a Narogi skate high. The inspiration to this design is from Japanese agriculture. Narogi jackets were worn by Japanese farmers. These jackets were made of denim and were endlessly patched and sashiko stitched to last a lifetime. Here right now I'm just measuring out some of these patches. Um, on the back of this shoe I actually had the tongue of the uh, one of the tongue patches strapped to the back to just to cover the back. Um, I didn't like how this aesthetically was. Um, Vance didn't provide a lot of patches for this for this uh, custom. Um, they really wanted to leave it more of like a do-it-yourself do type of deal. I try to actually make different types of panels, uh, panels that didn't exist, so combining different panels. Uh, right now, I'm taking some random square patches that came in the kit and um, putting it in the like down the center of the, of the tongue so that you're actually able to tie up the laces without having to worry about a patch being underneath there and making it more bulky, but yet still showing some sort of design on the tongue area, which like the design area will actually like peek through like the laces or whatnot. Um, right now, I'm just gonna, actually going to take off the all the panels right now so you guys can see where the stitch lines are. So if you notice, the red stitch lines is actually highlighting that it, the shoe can be customized into a half cab. And then the blue stitching um, highlights that it can be made into a skate high. shows that it's a half cab sneaker and then if you look at just the blue lines it's actually a skate high so it's actually two different stickers sneakers in one I don't know why they did a half cab they should have just did a full cab because then it would have just been another high top two high top options um, you even can see that they actually added another hole for the half cab which is a little bit out of the way uh, I'm gonna actually utilize that hole later on you'll see it later what I'm gonna do for these for this custom is I'm actually gonna take uh, a lot of these panels uh, and I'm actually going to reuse them. So basically, I'm going to get some denim. Uh, I'm going to actually put down my pattern onto the actual denim. I will outline the actual panels. Um, once I have outlined the panels, then I will cut them out. Um, right there, I'm using actually a white gel pen. It actually helps really well to show up on fabrics. But um, once I have cut out the actual pattern, I will be 2-inch Velcro which majority of all the panels fit on this 2 inch velcro like width wise. I also saw I found on Amazon you can actually get sheets of velcro which would have been a lot better and a lot easier. Um, I could have just laid out the pattern on the sheet of velcro and then probably just cut it out and it would have been a full even cut. Alright guys, follow along, let's get into this custom. Uh, stick to the end, there will be some uh, b-roll and maybe some on feet. Later! Alright guys, so right now I'm just outlining the front, uh, the front nose panel right now. Um, as you can see, it's going to be a repetitive uh, stage. It's going to be a lot of just tracing, cutting, um, adding the Velcro to the back of the actual liner. Right now I flipped the liner so that I wouldn't have that, that white line. But honestly, you can honestly just trim off that white line. It's pretty easy to take off. It's not a big deal. You don't have to. Um, I wanted to show you guys actually on this nose part. Um, it's actually a two-piece panel because how large it is if I had a full sheet of velcro I wouldn't have to make these uh, two pieces right now so right now I'm going to put down the velcro on one side then um, 
unstick it, cut it out, and then I'm gonna put a second piece on there. So there'll be a little seam in the middle, but you can't, you won't be able to notice it. Um, on the first pair, I was using one inch Velcro. That one inch Velcro, I had to use multiple pieces. So if you look at the back of the panels on the on the first pair, there's tons of like lines and like multiple pieces and whatnot. And when you go to rip it off, it doesn't have as, uh, as a strong of, uh, of an adhesion on the back. It has these little lines that actually have like giveaways or whatnot. So next time if I'm gonna, I am gonna do, I'm actually gonna be making another video on, on, on something like this. I'm gonna be doing something totally different. But um, next time I'm gonna see if I'm gonna order the full sheets of Lock and Loop. Right now, again, I'm repeating again. Right now, I'm doing the eye stays. The eye stays I cut out. Um, I did the Velcro. I was actually able to just use one piece. Again, on that nose part, I was I had to use two panels because how wide it is. But on the majority of all the other panels, I don't run into that issue except for the uh, side panel. Right now I'm measuring out the nose area so that I can actually cut it out. What I did was uh, I saved the excess of excess material that was on the nose area that was in the middle when I cut it out and all I did was flip it and inverted it and then uh, just measured out so when I go to place the insert for the nose area uh, it, it fits perfectly like almost like a glove or whatnot. In this process I took a half cab and I also took this skate high back. It's two different panels. So a half cab is just the lower bottom half, and then the t uh, the long skinny part was actually the uh, skate high. I just combined the two and just made one panel. And then on the side panel, basically I saved all the scraps that I used from this entire project, and then I did like a, a, a patchwork with it. Later on, I'm actually going to be doing some other stuff as well. Um, not only just this patchwork, but you'll also see that you know I, I add some designs to these patchwork and also add some sewing as well. Right now, I'm actually adding some uh, some glue. This glue is actually like a fabric glue. It actually works as a per, uh, as like almost like if you were to be sewing um, it, without having to do the actual sewing part. I wanted to add sewing to this, but it was going to be a little bit more of a longer process. I currently don't have a sewing machine as well too, but um, this is actually works really well for what I'm doing it for. The adhesion of Velcro uh, helps keeps everything together as well too. That little stencil you see there I actually made that with uh, scotch tape so what I did was I laid down scotch tape on the uh, that mid panel and then I traced out the actual outline of it and then I cut it out I, I took off the actual scotch tape put it on a piece of uh, hard stock paper and then uh, cut out the actual shape of it so it actually gives it a little bit more integrity and I'm able to actually make these panels and then that panel can actually be used as a left and a right all you do is flip it one way left and flip it the other way it'll be right And then here I'm adding the holes. That's a hole puncher. Uh, I, I had to actually make bigger holes for this because of the fact that the lacing was really hard to pull through because you have two sets of holes here. You have the holes on the denim and then the holes on the actual sneaker. So you have to actually make those holes quite big. 
Later on, I ended up doing bigger holes for this uh, this side of the shoe. The first shoe, I actually did perfect. The holes were nice and big. But with that uh, tool, you actually can make holes smaller or larger. It's really easy. It's like a hole punch. You squeeze it and just it snaps a hole into it. Here right now I'm just doing a little test fitting, making sure everything lines up correctly with the holes. And then here I'm actually working on the tongue area. This is actually from uh, the other shoe. I needed to measure it out. Um, I basically just used two square panels as you saw at the beginning of the video to make this uh, part. What I did was I just did uh, reverse inverted air, uh, inverted colors. I just flip flopped it so that it just has some sort of uh, difference between the two. I wanted I didn't want the shoes to look exactly alike. I wanted them to be you know somewhat different. Just again playing on theme to what I'm working with is that 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 patchwork. <music> drinking up some cider check out this cider. this cider was delicious but yeah so if you notice i actually did a velcro really skinny so that the sides would fray up with time so i i left the area exposed on, on all the way around the border and just made a little skinny part of velcro in the middle This part, um, this is actually a, a really fun part. So I wanted to add some uh, bleaching elements of like design, but I decided to not go with the bleach because how harsh that chemical can be and how it reacts. So I went with like a, a nice white wash. I uh, diluted the, this white acrylic paint and it kind of gives it like a, almost like a bleach effect on the actual full denim shoe. Um, this helps me also control how much, how heavy I want to put the paint on and how, how light I want to have the paint on the actual areas. I really like how it came out. Again, some areas are a little bit more wider, but also it's also gonna fade with time as well too with this denim. quick preview before I start adding some stitching so here I'm actually gonna start doing some faux stitching this isn't like a, a functional uh, st stitching it's a faux stitching it's supposed to be fake it's supposed to emulate that there is stitching that there these patches are sewn on or whatnot so what I basically did was just do a little bit of sewing on the actual seam areas you'll see right now I'm doing a little bit of stitching on the top part of the seam area but left the rest of it raw 
and then you'll also notice like later on throughout this entire this this sewing uh sewing part where i am actually sewing just the seam areas um i use also different colors as well too so just to reminisce and show that with time you know rips happen here or there and occur and sometimes you have a of one color of a string one time and then you have another string another time i did repeat some of the actual uh, uh strings as well too for the color but um you notice i'll use some some tans some golds some whites some reds even some blues that are actually the same color as the actual denim Just to wrap it up, I'm not gonna give you, you're actually not gonna see everything until the actual on feet and the actual B roll. But here's some of the actual panels as you see. I did some X's, some different types of stitching, some cross stitching or whatnot. But um, I love how this uh, stitching process came. I do add a little final, st uh, a little final touches towards the end. Just stick along, uh, see the final results. You'll see I added little touches at the end or whatnot, but um, thank you for watching. Thank you for your guys' time. I know these videos are quite long, but um, I really like to get into details. I'm very passionate about these videos, and I really appreciate your guys' time. Um, like and subscribe. Um, also, follow me on my Instagram. I'll have it here on the bottom. But um, again, thank you for your time. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day.